them. This setting here is strictly for this course. Let's take a quick look at these. So here are my class details. In the last video, we created our own course, gave it our title, and then right down here can, if you want to export grades into your student information system, you would click the link so that you could get that connected if your district has that activated. These are the codes, manage the codes. If you don't want the code on your front page, you can turn it off. I will give you a little hint here though. If you have it on and you go in and click reset and you've already sent it out, you're going to have to send the new code because reset gives it a brand new code. Here's your invite link again, class code. And then you can also display the class code by clicking on this and it brings it up much larger so that if you're walking your students through this, you can put that right up there. Then they can use that code to join your course. This is where you control how your stream works. If you have students posting and commenting, it can get out of control. My preference has always been in my stream to leave it so that only teachers can post or comment so that it stays nice and cleaned up. That way, all of my discussions are taking place in the classwork area. This next spot right here where it says classwork on the stream, I also turn that off completely because it can not only become long and cumbersome, but many times students forget to go into the classwork area in the course and do their work there. And so they go in through the stream and they get lost. Manage Meet, I did turn that off right here. You can turn it back on if you're going to be using Meet and you want it to be visible to your students. Here's your grade book. That's an entirely different course. However, if you want to explore the grading further, we will provide you with a video to help you understand it further and how to set your categories. If I had changed anything, I would have a save button right up here. I would click that and off I would be ready to go. I do want to point out to you this question mark right down here. This is your help menu. You can find out what's new in Google Classroom, report an issue or request a feature. I really encourage you to use this because they really do pay attention to what educators are asking for. Here's the help center where you can go to do some searching and look for things. And then this is a link to the help community so you can post questions out to other Google Classroom users. So I am all set here. I'm going to click save. Take a look at your own Google Classroom. Do some exploring, some experimenting, click on some things, see what you think. You can't break anything.